मन का हो तो अच्छा ना हो तो और भी अच्छा दीज फेमस लाइन्स बाय श्री हरिवंश राय बच्चन आर समथिंग दैट हैज लेफ्ट अ प्रोफाउंड इम्पैक्ट ऑन मी In similar line, Dalai Lama has also said that sometimes not getting what you want can be a wonderful stroke of luck. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about the various ways and means where we have clear reason to believe that sometimes, you know, we get failed, we don't get what we want. But then it is a fantabulous thing if you look at it five years down the line. When you look back, the dots get connected. If you look forward, you are not able to get. the connection you feel despondent you feel anxious that why did this happen to me but then you know imagine if amitabh bachchan would have been actually selected at that all india radio interview he would have remained just a news broadcaster on a radio instead of the iconic bollywood star jack ma the founder of alibaba.com has gone on record that post his education he had applied for 30 jobs one of them even being a job at kfc where 24 people had applied 23 of them had got selected and he was rejected imagine the scenario if he would have got selected in that kfc job he would not have went on to become jack ma so when we talk about failures setbacks which are temporary in nature what we are essentially trying to pinpoint is that god in his larger wisdom knows what exactly you need and hence that failure is actually a stroke of luck case in point could be for example that you have a bad boss sometimes having a very bad boss for a period of 2 3 years can be amazing because that real bad boss makes you altogether different person suited for the real corporate world or similarly you might not get a particular job which you want you end up having a job in a startup and then you tend to get a super exposure the startup gets valued at a crazy level since you are one of the early birds in that startup you end up becoming the cfo of that startup so you get that early bird advantage now this would not never have happened had you got that stable mnc job that you had wanted where you would have ended up just being a cog in the wheel people have to take risk and sometimes risk don't pay off and sometimes they pay stupendously well it's up to us to accept that okay sometimes things are not going to fall in place sometimes we are going to appear for interviews which we are not going to crack sometimes we are going to appear for exams which we don't clear so imagine the kind of sadness that you will have when you don't clear ca final in one particular attempt but then in the next term you clear it with a rank and you get a starting salary of 24 lakhs instead of what you would have got at around 8 to 10 lakhs if you had been a first attempt chartered accountant so imagine the plight of lord ram where he was supposed to be coronated the next day and instead he was sent to exile but then had he not gone on vanvas the larger objective of his birth on the earth the assassination or the end of ravan would not have happened lord but when he was born gautam but as he was called his father was clearly told by a saint that this son of yours is going to grow up and becoming a saint his father removed all the sad people the poor the downtrodden the elderly from his city into a new city so that his son would have never got exposed to sadness and never ever think of giving up on the worldly affairs but then what was destined happened he became lord buddha and eventually his father also was proud of the fact that he didn't end up being just a ruler as he had envisaged but becoming a lord buddha someone who had guided millions of people in the movie dhoni ms dhoni the father wanted a stable government job for the son the son wanted so many last things in life he wanted to become a superstar cricketer imagine that scene and i really love that scene when the mother tells that itne thode mein iska ho payega jab aap soch rahe hain isko government job mil jaye nahi khush ho jaye because maine iski aankh mein chamak di ki he really is aspiring for larger things 
so that's important so sometimes you know that mahavir fogart in the movie dangal he gets four daughters is really sad but at one point of time when they come home fighting with the kids and he sees the extent of blows that they put on the guy he realizes that his daughters can be as good as sons and that he goes on to create history so sometimes not getting what you want can be a wonderful stroke of luck man ka ho to acha na ho to aur bhi acha kai baar aap ek flight if you miss then you might feel sad but eventually you realize two hours later that that flight had a bomb implanted by a terrorist and all 200 people on board are now dead now if you look back in retrospect that same incident you are very grateful to god that that happened you missed the particular flight so sometimes you need to miss flights sometimes you know that brings out the best in you you tend to become far more resilient you innovate on your strategy you reach out to all the more people you become more humble and probably god prepares you for the larger roles that are there coming your way so friends never ever get despondent with failures sometimes man ka ho to acha na ho to aur bhi acha this statement is really fabulous it helps us stay motivated it helps us move forward and i can give you a classic example of my wife uh, she had quit a corporate job come back to calcutta for marriage and typical marwadi setup she was a bit sad but then eventually she got a startup an opportunity to work from home with a laptop in one hand and a kid in the other she is quite decently happy now in my case also when i had taken up science in class 11 and 12 i was not really very happy with the kind of outcome that happened but 7 years later when i took the gmat and i could get a good score on that a lot of it was attributed to the fact that i had a good quantitative base because of class 11 and 12 science and hence seven years later my experience in class 11 and 12 helped me in some way or the other i could not uh, really stay outside my hometown in my first job which was a very highly rewarding job i came back but then maybe destiny had something better in store for me i could explore so much in terms of teaching connecting with the youth the sheer fact that i am on this youtube channel trying to guide youngsters i don't see so many of my contemporaries ever doing that because they are earning really stupendous sums of money maybe that is something that prevents them from that outreach effort which the youth of this country in my limited view requires so that's the thing that you really want x god wants y for you but in the long run maybe what god wanted for you was far better than what you had wanted sometimes i can go on board and be very honest about the fact that i had got really very sad when i had not got an article ship in price hotel house post my ca ipcc but four months down the line when i got it in deloitte i was quite happy because we didn't have out stations in deloitte there were no late night outs something which is not in sync with my body clock which would have been a regular affair at pwc and therefore if i now look back at that instance where i had felt very sad when i had got rejected at the interview at pwc i probably feel that yes it's good for the long run to man ka ho to acha na ho to aur bhi acha friends this little statement can really help you stay motivated to reign tough times and also reinvent yourself in terms of all that is required to become more equipped to success in the world around us today thank you so much bye bye all the